What's up guys? Let's go ahead and simplify the fourth root using these examples. And hopefully my explanation will be helpful as we work through these three problems. Now, one confusion that I know a lot of students come up with is when they see something negative and anytime you're dealing with the square root, the fourth root, the sixth root, we know we can't take that of a negative number. So when they see a negative, it's automatically like a little red flag. But remember this negative is outside of the radical. It's not gonna impact us not being able to take the fourth root of what is under the radical. The other thing students recognize is they see an 81 and they say, oh, 81 is going to be a nine squared. So they'll go ahead and rewrite this as a negative seven times the fourth root of a nine squared. The problem is that doesn't do anything for us, right? Again, remember our whole goal is we wanna rewrite this as something being raised to the fourth power. So we wanna think about what number is being raised to the fourth power. And thankfully, once the higher the index is, the smaller pool of numbers that we're gonna get that we're gonna recognize are being multiplied by themselves four times. However, 81 is definitely a number that you recognize being as what we call a quartic number because you can rewrite three to the fourth power is actually the same thing as 81. And again, if you don't believe me, check out three times three times three times three. So it does work out. Now I just have a negative seven times the fourth root of three to the fourth power. Well, again, I can take the fourth root of three to the fourth power, which is going to be a three. So this would be a negative seven times three, which is going to equal to a negative 21. Now for this next example, what I'm going to do is I have an 18 on the outside. And then what I'm going to want to do is break up the fourth root of 64 and the fourth root of eight to the 18th power. Okay, now remember 18 is just multiplying on the outside. Our goal here with the number is to find something being raised to the fourth power. Well, three to the fourth power is 81. So the only thing that I can make sense would be two to the fourth power, but that's not gonna equal 64. That actually equals a 16. However, 16 does divide into a 64. So I can go ahead and simplify that. Now, when I'm looking for the fourth root of eight to the 18th, I want this to be raised to the fourth power. What I want to do is look for the power rule to give me something raised to the fourth power. And what I see here is I have a to the fourth raised to the fourth. That's going to give me a to the 16th. Then all I need to do is multiply by an a squared to give me a to the 18th. Okay. So the reason why this was important, because what I did is I've identified two values. I can take the fourth root, the fourth root of 16, which is two. And the fourth root of a to the fourth raised to the fourth is just going to be an a to the fourth. So I'm going to separate these just so you can kind of see. And rather than writing this as 16, I'm going to write this as a two to the fourth power. Okay, so now again, we have 18 times the fourth root of two to the fourth times a to the fourth raised to the fourth. Now I could separate this one more time, but hopefully you recognize I can take the fourth root of these separately. So therefore I'll be left with a 18 times two times a to the fourth times the fourth root of four a squared squared, which I cannot simplify because they're not raised to the fourth power. And then I can just go and simplify this. 18 times two is going to be a 36, a to the fourth times the fourth root of four a squared. Now, sometimes you have a lot of moving parts like that example, or in this example, we can get confusing because what about when you have an expression, right? Do I distribute the 16 to the X minus one? No, don't do that because that X minus one is being raised to the 16th power. What we want to do is get that expression being raised to the fourth power. All I'm going to simply do is rewrite 16 as a to the fourth raised to the fourth, because again, by the power rule, four times four is equal to 16. I can do the exact same thing here with this 16. That is going to be a two to the fourth power. Now you can see that I have two to the fourth power and an X minus one raised to the fourth to the fourth power. So we can go ahead and take them just from here. Or if you want to just go ahead and have them separated. So two to the fourth times the fourth root of X minus one to the fourth to the fourth power. Now, again, remember the fourth root of something being raised to the fourth power is just going to be a two. And here, even though these are both raised to the four, we can only go ahead and take the inverse operation of the top expression. So therefore that's going to leave me with an X minus one raised to the fourth power. Hope your teacher is not going to make you go ahead and expand that from there. And you can just leave your answer just like that. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. You can definitely go ahead and subscribe or give a thumbs up if you want more of this type of content. Comment down below if you have any questions or take a look at the different examples I have for you down below or in the next video I have for you here.